In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, peace be upon you. The races, including teachers at my workplace, claim halal slaughter is painful, stressful and evil. Let's investigate the matter. Since I believe Allah has taught me how to respond to Muslim haters during an itikaf that I sat this last Ramadan. Deep down, we all know electrocution is painful and torture filled. That is why taser weapons have been introduced. They are a weapon of torture. Next time a Muslim hater tells you halal slaughter is evil, tell them to do the experiment. They can choose to be electrocuted and then you will both have a superficial cut to the skin to see who will experience the most pain. I know for a fact a cut with a sharp knife causes absolutely zero pain. As a child and young adult, I cut myself enough times to know. The picture on the slide is a woman being tasered. Um, it's from uh, the video Alaska Military Police Taser Training. So the expression on her face shows her emotion and how she's feeling. I don't need to explain. Before Allah guided me when I was young, I lost my mum and dad and so felt lost in the world. Um, another thing, I wasn't eating healthy, which um, helps balance a young child's mind or a teenager's mind. And so I was quite suicidal. And once I took a blade and cut my wrist, as the man is about to do in the picture, and I cut my skin quite deeply. Um, it cut right through the upper surface skin layer. And when I, when I tilted my um, wrist, it, it, there was a huge gaping hole. But um, until I tilted my wrist um, after cutting it, I was actually unsure whether I'd cut it or not. I didn't feel any pain and for the first few seconds um, blood wasn't coming out. So until the blood started uh, <clears throat> leaving the wound, um, I, I, I was unsure whether I had cut myself at all and I was about to cut myself a second time. Similarly, when the throat is cut, the animal actually feels nothing, especially if it's a sharp blade. Within seconds, the blood drains from the brain and oxygenated blood cannot get to the brain, so the animal becomes unconscious. The animal dies in a state of pain-free unconsciousness. It does not even know its throat has been cut or not. As I said, I watched myself slash my wrist, but I didn't actually know whether I had cut through my skin until the blood started escaping from the wound. Now, I know some animals writhe around um, after being cut, but this is an involuntary reflex. The animal has no awareness. Even uh, sometimes uh, they even sometimes blink or moan, but there is no real awareness there. This is subconscious. This is an involuntary reflex. And doctors will tell you that in the morgue, sometimes people sit up, but they're actually dead. 
Now, lies are told about this writhing. Uh, we're told that the animal is in pain or it's experiencing this, that and the other. But these are complete lies. How can a brain cell continue functioning where it, when there is no oxygen available? Now, for a, a cell to um, function, it needs oxygen to produce energy. And then with that energy, it takes part in doing the things that it needs to do. But when there is no oxygen, there is no energy, it goes into a state of sleep. And anybody using their intelligence would know this. The restriction of oxygenated blood to the brain is chosen by nature. Lions attack their prey by biting the throat, preventing oxygenated blood or oxygen reaching the brain, which causes unconsciousness and death. This me method has been taught to animals by God. They call it instinct in the scientific world. But they are born knowing. They are born knowing because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught them. I agree we shouldn't have huge factory farms typical of Western societies. We should aspire to have a small holding treating animals well, slaughtering them in a humane way with Allah's permission. However, Electrocution is barbaric and painful. Just because an animal becomes limp doesn't mean there is no pain. No one wants to be electrocuted, yet animals are electrocuted. What I also want to add is that just because uh, it becomes limp uh, and paralyzed doesn't mean that its brain is not functioning anymore. The only way we know that the brain is not functioning is when the oxygen is not traveling to the brain. We have all experienced cuts, but we don't want to experience electrocution. It is a tool of torture. Why is it a tool of torture? Because deep down, we all know it is more painful than just cutting. I suggest the people who are watching this do not be evil and barbaric and that they choose the halal option when slaughtering their animals. The scientific industry in the West is run by quite uh, insane scientists that uh, will happily put um, baby uh, cells into um, vaccines and beauty products and uh, they're following Satan and satanic guidance and if unless you you know, condone all these evil acts that they do, I, I suggest you stay away and follow the guidance of God because Satan will misguide you. If you don't have the guidance of God, Satan will misguide you. And I do pray that Allah guides you, protects you and gives you peace. And I pray that Allah guides the Satanists, Antichrist and the devil to the straight path. I pray that the ultimate success be that all creation unite for truth and justice and allow uh, humans to know their limits and know that they are not wiser than Allah and that they do not know better methods of doing things besides those that Allah has assigned. He's knower of what is in the minds of animals and in the minds of people. And y you cannot um, believe that you are more merciful uh, 
than God because God is the one who has created mercy and created love. Uh, I do pray that Allah grants us all guidance, grants us all forgiveness and makes our children a source of peace for the parents and the parents be a source of peace for the children. And I pray that I am a source for peace for all. And I pray that I achieve martyrdom by defending the vulnerable. But I do understand only those of really high status achieve that. And perhaps I may be unworthy. Allahu Akbar.